Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. If you love Halloween, this is the video for you. Are you ready? Let's shop. Even if you don't love Halloween, there's still lots of cool stuff in this video, but it is pretty much all Halloween inspiration, all of the things at the at-home store, so much to see. Starting out with the big display. I always love their big displays. They finally have one big display and it's for the Halloween items. Still nothing yet for the fall. I really hope next time I come in here, they do a big fall, all the pumpkins and all that fall goodness on one of their huge displays. But for now, it's the Halloween. These are all of the like outdoorsy front yard decor that they have, the lights, the string of lights, all the things in that realm, as you can see. This guy was just laying there. I believe we see more of those later on hanging up in the correct place where they're supposed to be. Here's Jack for $80. It is huge. By the way, do you guys do these like blow up dolls in your front yard? Even if it's not for Halloween, do you do them for Christmas? Like the blow up yard decor has become like the biggest thing. I don't do this because I don't have a front yard, but I always think to myself, like, would I even do it if I did? I don't know. That is, uh, you know, that remains to be seen. <laughs> we will see eventually when the time comes. $150 for this one. I mean, all I can say is it's huge and, you know, you will use it year after year. I wonder how long these last also. Here's the display one. Why I felt the need to point that out, I have no idea. This is my favorite thing on this table. This $80, the jack-o'-lanterns stacked together. Love that. Now here we go into some of the actual in-the-house decor. Love these lanterns. These are so cool. They're $20. They're really big. I thought those were really, really nice. They also have these pumpkins for 40 Also very cool. But yes, if you use these blow-up thingies, um, do they last? Are they good? What's, what's, let us know. What's the deal with those? I am wondering. Here are more jack-o'-lanterns. I love these also. These were also one of my favorites right here. I always love some stacked pumpkins. If they're if if it's stacked, if it's a topiary of sorts, I'm loving it. Twenty dollars. It actually plugs in. I thought that was really nice for twenty. I I expected it to be more, so I thought that was a good price point. Look at this guy. How cute is this guy? This collection right here, I thought was really really cute. Like different Halloweenish, but also very fall like. Like it's giving both vibes at least for me i feel like and it's the halloween hoedown collection so there you go even the name kind of suggests that it's kind of like you know fall and halloween inspired all in one omg i hate snakes they are my nemesis <laughs> like snakes are not where it's at in real life but even these though they look they look creepy enough in this collection like we're gonna see more of those skulls with the heads and the skulls with the heads the skulls with the snakes and yeah these creep me out i'm not into these but yeah i'm not a snake fan oh my gosh no this i thought was different this the haunted with the little houses with the bottle brush trees it lights up love it so good now here is the little smaller version of that same pumpkin this happy halloween wood sign 15 dollars. i like it it's the orange and black i thought it was cute i'm not mad at it at all 
very cute of course this jack-o-lantern with the already led candle in there love it it's galvanized but i love this i'm upset i didn't get it happy halloween i i feel like i didn't even truly take a good look at it while i was in there as i was looking at this video i realized this is so cute that little broom happy halloween so good really really love that this one is also really nice like some patchwork pumpkin over here the little green truck i really like this one just because of how different it is like it has you know the skeleton on there he's going on a spooky haunted hayride i thought that was cool and then here's the missus she's smoking the pipe and everything ten dollars this boo sign is nice and then i realized it is double-sided and on the other side it says eek for nine dollars of course you know i love the little tassels at the end these little guys are really cute they're four dollars it has a little handle and everything now the only thing with these is that i feel like you could get something very very similar at the dollar tree for a dollar there's actually quite a few things in this whole entire collection all of the collections that they have because it is more than one collection and we're going to see them all when it comes to halloween in this video but love this pumpkin i thought this was cool it's like creepy but not all at the same time this one right here with the bats i really really love i'm considering maybe possibly getting it just because i do like to do a whole like little bat theme for halloween usually so i think that's perfect to have the white pumpkin and then the bats on there like that's definitely my vibe so i'm still considering that but some of the items in these collections i definitely feel you could get them at the dollar tree for obviously a dollar rather than here for like five dollars four dollars you know you know here's another one with the snake this is what i'm talking about like that snake looks really realistic to me i mean I, it, it's just it's creepy enough where no i do not want it for myself but if you're into the creepy and like spooky and all that that one will work for sure love the witch's boots love these that's another thing i really like for halloween i like the witch's hat and the witch's boots this one is 17 dollars. it's significantly big like that's a nice substantial size i have some of these but they're from the target dollar spot from a couple of years ago and it's definitely a lot smaller than one i have this little pumpkin with the purple flowers the florals i like it i thought that was really cute this lady i was gonna call her a witch she's a witch right holding the um what is that called omg here we go you saw what she was holding what is it what is that velvet <laughs> did you just see this yeah it hurt my hand it's heavy i didn't expect it to be so heavy but this one is also creepy but not in like a bad way where i wouldn't want it but i thought it was cool with that eyeball and the flowers but yes i literally like almost dropped it all the way to the ground as you just saw and it was definitely heavy this one so creepy do you see the little bugs on there now that price point of 25 dollars i don't understand it i have no idea why but that's how much it is this little lady this one is definitely a little witch she's very cute but that other witch the one that i can't think what is it that she's holding the candelabra the candelabra that that was cool and i really liked her dress definitely liked her dress and i thought it was cool that she was holding the candelabra there we go i got it i actually thought of what it was 
while still <laughs> voicing this over. That's shocking. That never happens. $10 for this guy, though that was cool. Here's a little stand-up sign for $7, and then they also have it in this green. This guy is actually ceramic, which I was surprised about. $18. It's fairly big. I feel like we usually see those for like in metal or even plastic, but that one is actually ceramic. So I thought that was really nice. Now here we're moving on to a different collection. I really like this boo sign. I think it's really, really cute. It has the string on the top so you can actually hang it if you wanted to. $30 for this wreath. Another price point that I feel is like a little on the high side. Now here we go with more snakes. No thank you. Not for me, but you guys probably like it. $30 for this one as well. And this is the Halloween Heroes Collection. So, so cute. Not as scary, not as spooky. Little polka dots. Very cute. These are like the, what I like to call like the generic plastic pumpkins. Those are just like, I think they're carvable pumpkins. So this is like kind of like, as you can see, like the cutesy candy corn portion of like the section, like the collection. This is what this collection is, like not as scary, even though this one right here, it's not scary, but mm, you know, another $25 item. Again, it does light up. I was trying to light it up and then I realized that the one in the back, you see the eyes, they look yellow. So that one was already lit up. I guess maybe that's why it's $25 because it lights up, but I still don't see it. I don't know why. These I love, like I just said before, if it's stacked, I usually like it. And those are $20. And see, that one is $20, but it's like significantly smaller than the white jack-o'-lanterns we just saw in the other aisle. And those were 20. And they were plug-ins and lighting up and all of that. So that's kind of weird to me that it's like same price point but one of them is so much smaller i thought this pumpkin was cute it's 15 dollars. it has like beware boo it's black and white love here's this big bow which of course it's 20 dollars and i was gonna say of course super easy diy literally no need to actually purchase it that way i mean if you want to i shouldn't even be saying that look at all the glitter i shouldn't even be saying like no need to purchase it because i always tell you guys how much of a diyer i am not so i tend to buy things that you guys say all the time oh my gosh that would be so much easier to diy or not easier but cheaper and certain things i'm just not going to diy i am going to just purchase it but even I'm saying that that bow, I mean, come on. I could even DIY that is the point that I'm trying to make. <laughs> Here's another candy corn. This spooky pumpkin, I think it's so cute, is $13. I really like that. So here are the black, like, basic wreaths for $7.99. I feel like that's another item that if the Dollar Tree has it, it literally would be the same and it would be a dollar. Here's a little Halloween Black Christmas tree. This one is pretty small. I will admit I do have a Black Christmas tree, but it's a, I believe it's a seven footer. And I have yet to use it, but I got it at Walmart two years ago after the holidays for six dollars yes six dollars i got a black one and i got a white one 
so good the white one i did use for easter a couple of years ago like the first year after i got it and like i said i have not used the black one do any of you actually put a halloween christmas tree up like do you do a halloween christmas tree i think they're fun i think they're cool i have yet to do it and i'm not sure that i would be doing it this year or that i will be doing it this year i don't think i am but maybe one day eventually let me know if you ever do it and what your theme is i do love to look at them this little pumpkin is super cute with the black and white check design these right here this one is big and it's 15 dollars. they also have the smaller version that we just saw and usually target dollar spot has those or just target in general usually has those for less so there's that these mummy canisters are really cute eight dollars for that smaller one and then this one is ten Speaking of Halloween trees, here's one right here, already decorated, and it's $8. This one is cute. I thought I thought this one was really, really cute. $7.99, and it has like the little pumpkins as the little lights. Very cute. I really like that one. seven dollars for this October sign five dollars for a pack of three little sachets I thought it was really cute I like the little theming that they have going on with that one I dropped the throw pillow, but it's $13. A little spider with a little bit of bling on there. Please stay. I'm sorry I dropped you. Eat, drink, and be scary. There's a little wooden sign for seven. And then here is a table runner for 15. I actually like this table runner. It's not for me, but I thought it was cool we're about to see the table runner that I really really loved here's this little pumpkin for five it's very glittery here's the one I like I really like this one but of course this is one of those that you know just sits at the uh, like center of the table it doesn't like actually run all the way across I still thought it was really cute 20 for this platter that already comes with the little like bowl attached to it here is this cookie jar this cookie jar was giving me so much trouble i was trying to figure out how can i lift it because it had that plastic kind of holding the lid there so i couldn't really take off the lid it's 20 dollars, and it's actually really nice and it's big now here's another cookie jar situation this one is a little more spooky it's also $20. And then notice how it has a little spider at the top. I like that. I thought that was really cute. Cute. It's Halloween, but I think it's cute. <laughs> Does that even make any sense? But you know what I mean. 20 for this little platter also, or I should say like a cake stand, right? this one is also fun this whole little display i really like the items on this display this one is 25 dollars though now here's the mug that matches that cookie um jar and it also has that little spider on the side i just like that little detail that they did with the spider Eighteen for this bowl and then it has a matching platter for 20 
Now here are the tiny little creepy animal skeletons along with the like potion bottles. These potion bottles we saw several weeks ago when I originally did like a sneak peek when these items were first coming out. And if you haven't seen that video, check it out. That one is more of a combination of the fall and Halloween that was coming out at that time. So I will definitely link it. I also do have a at home store um, playlist if you want to kind of see all things home at home store i was gonna say home goods <laughs> but yes i will definitely have that linked as well now here are these like what are these even called like these ghosts and dolls and things to again for the like the outside of your house or if you're doing a haunted house <gasps> how many of you do a haunted house is that a thing are you guys doing such things but see, this is this little ghost right here. Here's Jack, by the way. $30 for him. But that little ghost and even this little ghost. So Dollar Tree. But here is $4. But, you know, Dollar Tree has these every single year. And I think they would give you the same effect as these would. But yeah. Who does that haunted house? Let me know. Here's the straw bale, $8 here at the at-home store. Now here we go into the next collection, Dark Decadence. This collection is really cool. So here's a little golden skeleton. This tree, super glittery, it looks nice, and it's $50. That's another price point that I was surprised about. I don't feel like it should be $50, really. And then here is this guy, which I was very surprised that it lit up the way that it does. Watch this. It even changes colors and everything. That's pretty cool. I like that. But not as much as I love this lady. How cool is this lady right here? $15. That little bust. This pumpkin yes $13 I love it I love it I think it's so cool I couldn't find the price to that and then I believe these are placemats for $15 you get four of them very different $40 for this guy. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Let me not drop it. A little dragon action. Then these spiders. I feel like these spiders are like a cult classic. They're super like furry and spooky and all that. They're only $7 and they're fairly big. So that's also surprising that they're only 7 $20 for this one. I thought that was a cool, different tabletop decor situation. $25 for this guy sitting on his throne. $40 on this. I like the base. I really like the base to that. Look at this spider. I thought that was cool. $13 with the light up purple lights. I was trying to see if you could pose her, which you kind of can a little bit. She's $40. Her dress is kind of cool, but I like the other, the witch's dress in the other collection a lot better. And then I was surprised to find this little key back here. Like, what is the key for? But that's a cool, nice little detail back there. Let me put your skirt back down, ma'am. Sorry about that. <laughs> These are cool. $20. It's like a little witch's hat. And then it has like the spider vibes. It's a little tree. It's all the things in one.
love this pumpkin $17 well it's $17.99 really but I like that it lights up like that love that that's one of those that I feel like, you know, you can go with Halloween, but kind of go keep it out still for fall, depending on what your fall vibe is. This book, I was very surprised. It's nice that it has like spells on all three sides. I was surprised that it did that. Attention to detail. This little car is so adorable. I love everything with a little tree. Have you noticed? If there's a little tree involved, I usually like it. And it lights up. So that always takes it to the next level also. So cute, $20. Oh my gosh, this is like so beautiful and yet so creepy all at the same time. So insane, but cool. I can't explain it, but I really like that. <laughs> and it was $10. This guy is so cool really liked it i like the detail at the top it's heavy i was surprised about how heavy it was it's 20 dollars, and it is an hourglass and shockingly i didn't flip it around so you could see the sand i usually do that it slipped my mind i apologize <laughs> $12.99 for this one. I thought it was cool. And you can actually put some like candles on that. So that's nice. These candles, this bigger one is $9. But I really think these tiny ones, $7 for four so cute they're bleeding candles so i believe when you light them up like it looks like they're bleeding out of their eyes creepy but that is going to be it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos and let's continue to have some fun together by clicking on one of the videos right here on the screen and i'll see you in the next one bye